we have to look at ways to control the cost in the system, like where we have inefficiencies and where we do duplication of work. You know, doctors will perform the same lab work, like uh, someone will go see their, you know, PCP, the primary care physician, and then they'll go see someone else, and, you know, this physician's taken the blood work and hasn't shared it with this physician. So we have, you know, lab work that's duplicated. We have MRIs that are duplicated. We have x-rays that are duplicated. So if we had medical re records so that everybody could share that information, that would actually help. I think support from uh, the federal government to not only develop electronic health records, but also the, the ability to exchange information. And that's both the policy support to uh, protect public health, private health information, but also the funding to develop the infrastructure uh, to support both electronic health information and information exchange. The most fundamental problem really is that demand is increasing in the, the funding and the resources we have to respond to the needs keep decreasing. In that respect, mental health is a counter-cyclical kind of uh, health care industry that uh, our funding decreases as the need increases. People who have obtained care are no longer covered under insurance, they've lost their job, or they can no longer afford insurance, they can't afford their medications, and they turn to us because we are the provider that responds to the need for people who are medically indigent. But it's also true that um, people are seeking mental health care for the first time. People are experiencing depression and anxiety in response to loss of job, loss of home, um, the relationship issues that develop when families are under increased stress. We are advocating strongly in our, our national organization is advocating strongly for parity in mental health coverage. Parity really means that there's the same level of benefit for mental health services that there is for physical health care. Um, and that would mean more funding to support that. Universal coverage um, is also uh, an important issue because many people who are mentally ill simply can't work um, and access to mental health care can help at least some of them return to work and achieve stable housing. So both universal coverage and parity for mental health care should help mental health. And I might add uh, treatment for substance abuse as well. I think that something's got to give. So I'm not opposed to having um, a public option as an option. I'm just concerned that it's we're on our way to having socialized medicine, which I don't think um, Americans, they, you know, want it paid for, but they're not going to be happy with the lack of access. Hopefully, if we have a public option, maybe we can get some, like, more efficiency, maybe a little more competition, and so maybe that will get everyone to really look at how they can um, do everything more efficiently and bring down the price of it.